All right, so we're back at it with this electrical cord solar thing. Had a lot of great comments on that video and surprisingly gotten a lot of videos, like 7,700 views since just yesterday when I posted it. But I got one comment from James Emery who suggests using all three of these wires and make two sets of them. So you get two extension cords, use all three wires, one for red, so this would be for red. And then I bought another set of these for black. So we'd have two separate extension cables using all three wires in the cable for red and black, if that makes sense. Another thing, a lot of people were like really concerned about safety using an extension cable for solar. And, and I just, I don't understand it. Like, how are you gonna plug a power pole into 120 volt? Other people are like, you should mark those. Guys, this is an extension cable, okay? If this is plugged into solar, nobody's gonna do anything. Plus, I lead a pathetic life and I live by myself. So unless my cat figures out a way to screw up my wires, I think my safety is gonna be okay. And given the point that I'm the one wiring this and I'm the one doing it and there's literally no one else here to mess with this, it's okay. Now, of course, your mileage may vary, but I mean, come on guys. I think we're, think we're being a little over, over paranoid here. So now I'm gonna wire these up for more wire. Now the ironic thing financially, I'm kind of at the point now where I, I have the extension cables to run from my inverter to the things that I need to power. But if this works, I'm gonna try this with just a couple uh, hundred foot runs of extension cables that I have. But if this works, that means I'm gonna to go to the store and buy two 50 foot extension cables. And at that point, come on. And at that point, I could just go on Amazon and buy the same copper welding wire that I use when I'm doing battery reviews. And that's like a hundred bucks. So kind of either way, I'm in this about a hundred bucks now over, probably 100 and 130 with all these connectors. So uh, I could have six gauge wire, fit two, uh, a red and black six gauge wire, 50 feet for hundred bucks. That's really, really, really good wire. So I don't know, we're just screwing around. So let me make these things and uh, we'll see what happens. And now I have two red and two black. So one whole wire will be red and another wire will be black. Look at that. All right, so we got the same setup as last time. We've got a 100 watt and a 60 watt power film solar panel. Satan's out here eating grass, supervising. And we've got the 100 amp hour BioNO battery, the 40 amp battery MPPT charge controller. And we've got two 100 foot uh, extension cables, those are different gauge. The top one I think is 16 gauge and the bottom one is 12 gauge, so still not a perfect test, but we've got our little danger leads here since everyone seems to think this is so dangerous. Uh, and I've got the panels just plugged in with uh, just some red and black wire. It's a little overcast today, but it's about 11.15. Uh, 8.8 .8 amps we're seeing there. It's fluctuating anywhere between like seven to eight and a half amps, somewhere in that ballpark. So now let's go ahead and plug in the extension cables and see if using all three wires in there is gonna give us a better result than the last time we tried this with just one extension cable. And we're gonna plug the red into the red and the black into the black. So now those are energized. And then we plug the red into the red and the black into the black. And now look what we got. 6.6 .6 amps, about 90 watts. It's, it's kind of overcast today, so it's a little hard to do this test, but that is only one amp less roughly than what we were getting plugged directly into the panels. So adding all three of the wires in each of these electrical cables sure helped a lot. We're not really losing much at all. This is a viable solution. How cool is that? And here we are plugged in again, just 
directly to the solar panels, about eight and a half amps. So we might be losing about two amps going through that 100 feet of wire. But if this were 50 feet of wire and the same gauge, we'd probably have even better results. So I'm gonna call this a pretty darn good success. Now, just for fun, I've got the electrical cords plugged in to my power pole distribution block, and they're going inside the house. But you'll notice this black wire following along. That black wire is 58 feet of 10 gauge wire. So 58 feet of 10 gauge wire versus 100 feet of extension cords using all three wires in the extension cords. Let's see what we get. We're gonna compare the two. And as we can see, we're getting about seven amps from 100 feet of extension cable. Now let's swap out for the 58 feet of 10 gauge wire. And now we can see the 10 gauge wire is plugged into the charge controller and we're getting a little over eight amps of current in. So that just shows how actually efficient using all three wires in the extension cords are, even though they're longer. Again, if these were shorter, if these were the same length, we'd actually probably be getting more current out of the extension cables than the 10 gauge wire because we're using more wire. So that is a freaking awesome solution.